Hey everyone, it's Hannah from Daisy Farm Crafts and in this video I wanted to show you how to work the stitches in my crochet mini half stripes blanket and for this blanket I used Bernat Softy Baby Yarn with a size H 5mm hook and my finished blanket turned out to be about 35 inches by 38 inches so um, I needed to use three skeins of the gray and then one each of the white and the peach. All right, so to get this blanket started, you wanna make a base chain by multiplying 10 by an odd number and then adding two. So I'm just gonna make a small practice swatch for this video. So I am going to chain 32. 10 times three is 30 and then add two um, for the actual blanket that I made that measured um, about 35 inches wide after I added the border um, I chained 132 all right so after you have your base chain you want to start in the third chain from the hook and you're going to yarn over and insert your hook into that third chain and then yarn over and pull back through and then you're gonna pull that loop directly through the first loop on your hook and then yarn over and pull through those last two loops and that is the herringbone half double crochet stitch and we're going to work a herringbone half double crochet in each of the first 10 stitches with gray. And once you get to that 10th stitch, you're going to stop when you still have two loops left on your hook and you're going to pull through with the peach color and now you're going to work 10 herringbone half double crochet in the next 10 stitches um, but as you can see i'm laying the gray yarn across the top of my work and crocheting it over it as i go um, so i'm carrying it along with me so that I can pick it back up again after I work these uh, 10 stitches in peach. So when you get to that 10th stitch, you're going to stop just how you did before um, and to help your yarn from getting twisted you can pull that peach yarn to the front and then pull through with the gray and then start crocheting over it um, it helps to kind of keep things less tangled if you always kind of drop the gray to the back and then fold the colors over to the front and then you're just going to finish by um, working 10 um, more herringbone half double crochet uh, so if you're making it actually the blanket size you would just keep alternating every 10 stitches between the gray and the peach color and when you reach the end of the row after you work that last 10th stitch you're going to chain two and turn and then you're just going to keep working um, the same thing as you did the row below and um, carry that bring that peach yarn to the back of your work and keep crocheting over it and you're just going to work 10 stitches of gray and then switch to 10 stitches of pink so just do basically the same as you did on the previous row 
to make these um, color blocks. And then when we get to the end of this row, I'll show you how we uh, switch over to the white. Okay, now that we've worked two rows of the peach and the gray, we're going to incorporate the white yarn now. So you don't need to cut the peach, because um, I'm going to show you how we can carry that up the side so that we don't have so many uh, ends to weave in at the end. Um, so just on that last stitch, pull through with white, and then chain two and turn. Um, and then this time you're going to bring the gray strand of yarn around the back and crochet over it as you work 10 stitches with the white. So you're still keeping everything in sets of 10 stitches. We're just this time we're working the white on top of the gray sections and the gray on top of the peach sections. So just keep working um, in the same way that we did the first two rows. You're going to do two rows that have the, the white and gray. And then um, I'll show you how to carry that peach yarn um, up the side so that you don't have to cut it when we switch back to the peach section. Okay, so once you've finished your two rows of the white and gray, then we're going to switch back to alternating peach and gray. So pull through with gray on that last stitch and chain two and turn. And then we're just going to drop the white and leave it. And you're going to pull up that peach color and kind of gently lay it against the side of your work. You don't want it to be too tight, um, but also not too loose that it, you know, really hangs out the side of your blanket. Um, just kind of so that it naturally lays and then bring it across the top of your work so that you can start crocheting over it so that you have it with you when it's time to start crocheting, or sorry, crocheting with the peach. So the, um, the yarn will peek through a little bit when you're doing the border, but I um, would much rather have a little bit of color peeking through on my border instead of weaving in a ton of ends. Um, so it's up to you. You can definitely cut you know, the white and peach each time you switch. Um, but I thought it was definitely worth it to carry the yarn up the side so I could get this blanket done a lot faster. Um, and then obviously you don't ever need to cut the gray because you're always working with the gray in every row. Um, so and that's pretty much all you need to know to work this blanket. You're just going to keep switching every 10 stitches and then every two rows you alternate between um, the pink and the, or the peach color and the white color. So I'm just gonna work a few more rows of this and then I will show you um, how I did my uh, ribbed border. So here is my finished blanket and I did a front and back post double crochet border. And before you get started on your border, you want to weave in all your ends with a tapestry needle. Hopefully there weren't too many if you carried your yarn up the side. Um, and then I like to just pull up a loop in the corner that I ended with. And chain two. And for this first round, I just worked um, a round of double crochet around the blanket. And I worked three double crochets for every two rows on the side. So I basically worked three double crochets into the sides of each 
color. Um, and this is because it measures to be that about three double crochets wide measures to be about the same as two herringbone half double crochet rows. Um, so it doesn't matter exactly where you insert your hook, you just want to be consistent on the sides. So just kind of pay attention to the spaces as you go and try to just insert it into the same three spaces um, in each color section. Then when you get to the corner, you're going to just work three double crochets into that corner space. And then you're just going to keep going along the bottom of the row and work um, just one double crochet per stitch. Um, and for the bottom of the blanket, you know, the side that had my base chain, I like to um, just insert my hook a little deeper so that the, the base chain doesn't pull away from the blanket, if that makes sense. So almost insert your hook, you know, closer down to where the, the first row stitches are instead of the actual base chain. Um, and then you're just going to keep going around the blanket and just work a double crochet in each stitch on the ends and the tops and work three in the corners and then do the side the same. And then I'll show you what happens when we get back to the starting corner. All right, now that you're back to the starting corner, um, you want to work three double crochets around um, your starting chain. So just kind of insert your hook underneath that starting chain and work three double crochets. And then now we're going to start alternating front and back post double crochet. Um, so front post just means you stick your hook behind that, that post and work a double crochet and then back post we're going to stick our, our hook behind the post again, but we're going to do it from the back side of the, of the blanket. So you're always kind of sticking your hook behind the post, um, but with front post, you're doing it on the front side. And then back post, you're doing it on the back side. And just stick your hook behind that post and then work your regular double crochet. And you're just going to keep alternating those. And when you get to the corners, you can see there's your three double crochets in the corner. So just whatever um, direction was naturally supposed to go work around that first post. And then the middle post, keep going in whatever direction you are supposed to be, but then you're going to work three. So I just did a back post, and now I'm going to do a front post, and then a back post all around that center stitch. So I'm still keeping the alternating pattern of going back and forth. I'm just happen to be working three of those around that center post. So, and then you just continue, continue alternating um, around the next post. And then now we're back to just going back post and front post. Um, and you're going to do the same thing in all of the corners. And now you can just keep going around and around your blanket and do the same thing when you get back to that starting corner. Just work three alternating front and backs around that corner post. And I think for my blanket, I ended up doing about three rows 
of a front and back post. Um, but you can do it as many times as you want until your border is as thick as you want. Um, and then it makes this really cool ribbed look. So I hope that that's all you need to know to make this blanket. Um, as usual, the full written pattern is on daisyfarmcrafts.com. Um, and I will put a link to that in the description. And um, if you make this blanket, please come share a picture with us on Facebook or Instagram. We would love to see. Um, I think you could do a lot of cool color combinations with this pattern. So please um, come show us with whatever you decide to make. So thank you so much. Have a great day.